Hi everybody, this is Susie. Um, I wanted to demonstrate some watercoloring on the Belfoy paper that I showed you guys in my last haul video. Um, it is spelled B-L-L-O-F-Y. Um, I did have a hard time getting the uh, different mediums that I'm trying this on to move on the Belfoy paper. The problem is is the water soaks right into the paper instead of sitting on top and giving you time to to get it all blended and whatnot. Um, I did try three different mediums. This is colored pencil and then I do distress crayons and then the last one that I do is the Jane Davenport watercolor pan. So um, I'm going to try this on two different kinds of paper. The Belfoy uh, mixed media paper, which is what this paper is. And then I'm going to stamp and color the same image on the Stratmore watercolor paper, the 140 pound. Um, the Belfoy mixed media paper here is a 97 make sure uh no 98 pound uh paper so i'll let you guys just uh, uh watch this little short video and i keep the two different papers um side by side each other and you guys will see here in just a second when I start to color on the Stratmore watercolor paper. Here in just a second. All right, so here it is on the Stratmore watercolor paper and I keep the two papers on the same side that you see them now so that you know which one I'm working on. And the Stratmore uh, watercolor paper is darker in color also so anyways and I will chat at you guys at the end of the video
have here is a picture that I painted on the uh, Bellify paper. Sorry, I had to go look at or look over at the name of it. I didn't remember again. Um, and I wanted to show you guys. Um, I did this picture or stamping with the um, with the Jane Davenport watercolors. And I wanted to show you that you can get a nice blend if you do a really, really small area at a time, uh, which is what I did here. And, um, and I used different colors because I wanted to see how the different colors in that palette worked. But um, anyway, so, you know, it, it's a good deal for ten dollars you get a hundred sheets of that paper um, it's not going to do a lot of the really cool water techniques you can get with you know wetting your paper and then dropping the paint into it because the water soaks into it so fast into the paper so fast that it won't it won't do those techniques but if you take your time and um, do a real small area at a time and don't let the paint sit there for, for any length of time, you can get a nice uh, blend. So anyways, while you guys make your own decision on what you want to do, I will have a link in the description for uh, this mixed media paper if you're interested and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!